Hello everybody, my name is Howdy Sam, I make waifu and meta content, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Emblem of Sever Fate on Mona. Sorry it took me a while to pump out this video, I've just been busy with life and just a bunch of boring adult things. I haven't even been home for the past two weeks, but who cares about that? Let's give you the content. And Mona, I think Mona deserves her own video with this set because there's just so many ways you can approach this Emblem of Sever Fate set. So something that I got, you gotta understand is if you're using a set, you basically want damage from Mona, right? It all revolves around her burst. Unlike the four piece Noblesse set, you're not gonna be supporting your team. This is kind of a more selfish support artifact set because the whole point of you getting more energy recharge from Mona or just this whole set in general is just to increase the damage of your burst. So what that brings into my mind is, okay, well, do I want more damage or do I want more energy recharge to just pump out burst spam? So in this video, I'm gonna show you three types of artifact sets and compare them with my Emblem of Severed Fate artifacts that I've gotten over the past two weeks. So one of these sets is gonna be a high energy recharge set. Another one is gonna be a more balanced crit damage and crit rate ratio. And then on the other extreme, we're gonna be focusing on just trying to get as much consistent burst damage as possible. Also, another thing is I don't wanna bore you with the math details, so I'm just gonna show you sets and just compare the damages just so you can see more of it live rather than just seeing it all theoretical with math equations and figuring it out on your own. And I have the privilege of showing you this type of video because I just have so many builds with Mona. And also I've gotten pretty lucky for the most part on my Emblem of Severed Fate sets. By the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on this set and if it's worth your resin for those of you that have already farmed and grinded for like a two-piece heart of death two-piece noblesse so before we get into it i would appreciate a like and subscribe just to support the channel and the content you guys have been awesome i love you all so much thank you and let's just get into it so the first sets we're going to be comparing and as you can see the artifacts that are going to be displayed on the screen is my 295 percent energy recharge four piece emblem set so i didn't manage to get 300 percent but we did manage to get a good one to two ratio on our crit damage and crit rate so the first type of burst damage we're going to see is this one which is about 29,603. And then on our, on our next set for two piece hard death, two piece noblesse, this is my famous 312% energy recharge Mona. In my most popular video, I think it's about 301%. It doesn't have a two piece hard of death set, but I've actually managed to kind of better this set, but we're only able to get 27,430 on our burst. So the numbers you see on the screen is just going to be basically a premise of what's going to be for the rest of the video. Which basically means that even though we get a little bit more crit damage and we have a 2 piece hard death, 2 piece noblesse. The fact that the 4 piece emblem set gives us just so much burst damage bonus. It's just going to outweigh the other sets and give us the most burst damage possible. But the question is maybe if you want to use this as a main DPS mana or even just a sub DPS. Like how much damage are we losing from like our charge attacks and our normal attacks. So now I'm going to show you the numbers from our charge attacks with this set and the other one. So with the emblem set, we get about 6,068 charge attack. And then with our other two piece noblesse, two piece heart of death, which has a little bit more hydro damage bonus for those types of attacks, we get about 6,840. So it's not really a lot that we're losing on. Not that much actually. And we're going to switch to Skyward Alice because let's just say you think 300% or above 250 is just too much energy recharge maybe you want a little bit more damage in your burst because like i said earlier in this video with the four piece emblem set you kind of want more burst damage which is why you kind of want to farm it for your mona and we get about 40,711 burst and about 8,681 charge attack and with the other set our two piece hard at two piece noblesse we're going to kind of keep it close to comparison with the other set and i'm going to show you the artifact stats that basically you know all these artifacts took super long time super, so much of a grind over the course of like nine or ten months since the game came out we've just been farming these for these uh, sets and you can see that i get about thirty-eight thousand six hundred twenty-five on our burst damage and then our charge attack is going to be about nine thousand six hundred forty so then when we compare the two sets together of course our burst damage is going to be a lot and then we're not even losing that much on our charge attacks so now we're going to balance out more crit damage crit ratio. So we're going to focus on around 180% energy recharge range because that's the ideal, I guess, quote unquote, ideal art of energy recharge you want on Mona. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. And with the emblem set, we're getting about 50,389 on our burst. 
and about 10,814 on our charge attack. And when we put on the same thing, but with the two piece hard that two piece noble less, you will notice that we have more crit damage on this set. But like I said earlier, it doesn't matter because we're just going to be getting less burst damage on this set with 48,514 and 12,641 on a charge attack. And this type of build would be more ideal for like maybe like a vaporized type of support for Mona or electro charge Mona that needs that extra consistency. And you don't need the Lost Prayer or the Sacred Winds. I'm just showing Lost Prayer because it has a crit rate substat. If you buy the battle pass and use the solar pearl, then that's going to be fine too. The last type of sets we're going to be comparing is what happens if we want a high burst damage Mona. So the stats right now you're seeing are my best heart of death and noblesse pieces that I farmed over the course of since the game freaking came out. Our burst damage is going to be 57, 846. And a charge attack is going to be 14,180. And then my emblem set that I managed to get pretty lucky with that attack percent sense piece if you, if you want to go back and pause it. We kind of have a pretty good ratio on our crit damage and crit rate. And 50% is enough because if we're using a freeze team comp, which is probably the main comp you want to use this set, it'll give you an extra, that extra crit rate you need. And you can see that the burst damage we are getting is 61,000. So we managed to break the 60 thousand threshold and we're not even losing that much on our charge attacks just because of i guess how good of the artifacts we got with our attack percents and all that so as you can see this set just raises the ceiling for our burst damage for mona whether you're using for vaporize or just regular support mona and i think it's a great set i honestly thought you'd be losing quite a bit of damage on your charge attacks normal attacks in case for those people who use mona as a sub dps or a main dps but you really don't. And another reason why I think it's a great set is because you just go to one domain to farm this set and you can basically get the best overall damage for Mona. Whereas with the Heart of Death and Noblesse, those are two different domains and just less probability of getting good artifacts from both of those domains. And it's just more resin you have to spend or you can just spend resin on one domain and just focus your efforts there. So for those people that already have a good set on Mona, like a two-piece Heart of Death, two-piece Noblesse, I don't think it's worth wasting your resin for the new set because it's honestly not that much of a big burst difference and even though it's only one domain you still have to get four good pieces for mona in order to make this set work so i've literally been using my resin this past two weeks purely on this set on this domain even with like resin refreshes and it just took a lot of resin to try to get these artifacts that i have on right now and all just for like 4,000 extra burst damage so i would say especially since like inazuma just came out for those people that already have a good burst set on mona it's not worth your resin you can go for it if you want you can start focusing on the hydro domain and the noblest domain and just focus on this one if you really want but i think it's more for people who don't have a good set on mona or they just get mona and now they need a good set and not and it's not even just for mona you can use this for other characters as well like beidou xing cho shang ling and just other characters but like i said if you want this set you're just mainly focusing on your burst damage because if you really want like a big support then you would still go for the four piece noblesse just to give that extra attack percent for your whole party the energy recharge two piece does help like the overall range of energy recharge you want just depends on your team comp like a good range for mona is probably 160 to 180 it just depends you and how you want to spend your resin but i'm telling you like it's not really worth your resin go spend your resin somewhere else in inazuma like preparing for the new characters that are going to come out for the new weapons because i think your resin is better spent there than just trying to farm and gamble on this domain anyways let me know if i forgot to mention something or let me know what y'all think about the new set you guys are amazing thank you so much for just supporting me on this channel i love y'all so much remember waifu over meta and I'll see you in the next video. Time flows across the world. There is always